this is quantum escape on the monthly chart and had you put in ten thousand dollars when the stock IPO'd you would have been up at the highs roughly 10k that would have been good for 5x but in trading it's easy to make money it's harder to keep it and so had you kept the initial 2k which blossomed into roughly 10k and held all the way down to the lows sub ten dollars that 2k initial investment would be roughly six hundred dollars now before we continue with analysis let's look at this article and it is coming from the Molly Fool. So quantum scape develops solid state batteries powered by solid electrolytes. Instead of the volatile liquid electrolytes used in lithium ion batteries, the difference makes solid state batteries more toler tolerant of higher temperatures and less prone to fires. So in the past couple of years we've seen several Tesla cars ignite into fireballs and um, this kind of explains why. Again, not very stable or less stable than solid state. QuantumScape wants to close that gap by developing a new generation of solid state batteries that can replace lithium ion batteries in EVs. It's already developing a solid state battery that could revolutionize the EV market with a range of 650 kilometers and a charge time of just 15 minutes. So I think right now the superchargers, they charge in about 30 minutes. Um, normally it might take several hours to charge an EV battery. Its top investor is the auto giant Volkswagen, which started working with the battery maker more than a decade ago. Now, QuantumScape's plans sound promising, but it hasn't commercialized any products yet. During its pre-merger presentation, it claimed it could start commercializing its products in 2024 and grow its revenue at a compound annual growth rate of 363%. And that's equivalent to 14 million in 2024 to about 6.44 billion in 2028. Very staggering numbers. It also declared its adjusted earnings before EBITDA would turn positive by 2027. Now, QuantumScape stock substantially plunged 95% for three reasons. First, rising rates drove investors away from speculative pre revenue companies. Second, the broader EV market cooled off and clipped the wings off. A lot of high-flying EV stocks. We saw several EV companies go belly up and we see several other EV companies continuing to go back to the market because they need more cash to drive operations to hopefully become and reach profitability. Lastly, QuantumScape lost more money than it originally anticipated. Now QuantumScape still ended its last quarter with 1.13 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and marketable securities. While its low debt to equity ratio of 0 0.1 gives it ample room to rise, raise fresh cash, the company also says it's still on tr track to start shipping its first low volume samples in 2024 and high volume samples in 2025. Analysts expect QuantumScape's revenue to reach 2 million in 2024 and 15 million in 2025 based on its current enterprise value of 2.5 billion the stock still looks ridiculously expensive at 169 times its 2025 sales but if it can be successful in ramping up its production over the next few years it could potentially grow into its high valuation all right now from a technical standpoint back in december of last year price did form a weekly bias level um, and it worked once uh, as you saw price dip into the zone back in may and then hit resistance at uh, about $13.50. Because it just dipped its toes in the zone, you still had unfilled buy orders below $5.75. Uh, and, and thus, when price came back into the level, it went all the way down to the bottom of the zone, filling any remaining unfilled buy orders. And now we see price moving higher. When we scroll down to the daily chart, 
we can see uh, formation of a W pattern, right? That's a bullish reversal pattern. Um, and so if you missed the move higher based on the W pattern, this would be the level to potentially go long if and when price comes back down. And let me just draw that pattern for you. And let's make that. And let's bold that. All right, zooming out again to the weekly chart. Again, if price can pull back a bit, price can move higher in 2024 look for a retest at that roughly $13 level thanks for watching subscribe please like the video